Hi, this is Mary Mattingly with the Big Rapids Pioneer. Today we are joined by Brian Gallup with the Gallup School of Guitars. Thanks for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you. Good for having you. Yes, and we came by to talk about um, the student body this year, how the, this is the 30th year for the school, how it's changed over the years. Um, so you've been with the school, you said, since 1982 or 1984? About 1982, Dan Irwine started the school. I took it over about 84, 85. Mm -hmm. And back in those days, it was one student at a time, you know, two students at a time max. Uh, slowly it crept up to four, eight, and mm -hmm. to where we are today. Okay. So how many, because um, I know you, you offer several courses then, um, how many students on average would you say maybe register to be in the courses? We have uh, two primary classes, and that would be the two-month course and the six-month course. Mm -hmm. And the two-month course, uh, they build two guitars, and the four, in the six-month course, they build up four instruments. Mm -hmm. But it uh, kind of floats back and forth which one is the dominant class. But uh, a full enrollment would be 25 students. We're generally at 23. Okay. You know, with, it, with every term rolling every two months. So we've, are we at capacity then this semester? We're always at capacity. Okay. The school's overbooked for, I think at this point, 18 months out with a waiting list in every class. Wow. So compared to 30 years ago when the school first started, would you say it's attracting students from across the country then? Uh, our students uh, come from around the world. Generally a third of the class is overseas. Almost all of them are from out of state. Right now we do have uh, about five from Michigan. Okay. But that's generally not the norm. A guitar building class then, what are the basics that we're going over then with these kinds of classes? Well, what I'm trying to produce is a well-rounded luthier, uh, luthier, which is what we are. Mm -hmm. And it's not just guitar building, it's string instrument making, so we'll focus on arch top guitars, flat top guitars, finger style. They'll also be able to work on banjos, mandolins, even though that's not our primary focus, still a lot of, of the things relate. And not in just building, but that would be also repair. Repair will be a big part of their business as they get started and move into building their name as a luthier that's known for building uh, part of the musical instruments. Okay, so what would you say then that students who are graduating from the school, uh, what kind of careers are they going on to then? Well, we have to break the classes up into their, into their base. I mean, the baby boomer base is a real big one in the schools right now. And they already have their careers that they've been through and they're done with. So now they're looking for something that, they, that they've always wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And they'll open shops, small shops, do this and that. Um, another portion of the class that's overseas, I can't really track them. Mm -hmm. But the, the portion that you're talking about coming here for a career, they will move into opening their own shops or going to work for a micro building shop, like a small shop that makes um, 12 to 13 guitars a week rather than mm -hmm. 150. And that'll be their focus until they build their name. Okay, so do you have any students who graduated that the Big Rapids community might be familiar with? Well, Andy Kirby, Quinn's Music, Bud Greenman, he, he actually uh, came to the class. He went out and worked at McPherson Guitars for a while. Mm -hmm. You said you've got students overseas as well as coming from across the country and the world to come here. Um, when you say overseas, where where is that school? You open? choose. Okay. At, at this many, at, now that the school's been around for 30 years, you can just about choose any spot. I mean, the last okay. class it was Korea, Iceland, South Africa. Um, I'm trying to think where else. It was a pretty big class last year for overseas. So is it kind of an online course thing or? Nope, nope they fly here. They fly here okay. for two months or six months and take the class. Okay, and where do they stay while they're in Big Rapids? Uh, I own housing. Uh, in the beginning they rented houses so that after a while to, just to uh, get rid of the headache, mm -hmm. um, I bought a house and they moved into those. And so the price that they pay is turnkey. That includes housing. Um, they obviously cook their own meals, but the materials for the guitars are supplied, so it's one price. Mm -hmm. So compared to 30 years ago to a student today, have you noticed any any changes in ambition or anything like that? Or would you say the goals are kind of the same? Well, the key is is that the ambition is still the same. It's something they're very passionate about and they want to make a career out of this. Mm -hmm. And luckily over the years, the, the guitar itself has become the most popular instrument on the planet. You know, lucky us, mm -hmm. right? But the biggest change that I've noticed in the students is the fact that we have the internet now. They're just so much more prepared to come to a class like mine. They know so much more and there's so much more information out there to help them on the backside okay. of coming out. So then the industry then has been steady. They're not graduating into an industry where no one wants to play guitars or play stringed instruments. Oh no, job placement. I don't offer job placement. Mm -hmm. I don't have to, but it's really good right now. There's, 
there's shops all over the place. Great. And uh, just as an instructor, what keeps you wanting to teach each year? Oh, have people around. You know, the young people are the young group is always great. I love to watch them and teach them how to build guitars. And, and to point out, I'm not the primary instructor. I have my jobs that I do, but there are five full-time instructors in the school that all have their specialty. You know, so as a group, we just get a blast out of it. Well, that was everything I wanted to ask. Um, is there anything you'd like to add at all? No, I think you pretty much covered just about everything. Great. Well, thank you for your time today. You're welcome.